Oh, one just touched me. Ibiza has a lot of spas. And I don't mean places where you go to get your nails done or to take a trip down the sauna, but supermarkets. <laughs> I mean, there were more than just those two, but I didn't really want to go around filming all of them and then end up in the newspaper as crazy man goes around filming shop facades. I guess they must have set up so many shops with that name in the hopes that people would come in and get on with their lives before realising, hang on, this isn't a back massage, I've just bought two postcards and a beach ball. Before my Ibiza, I hadn't actually been abroad since 2008 which really makes you think and forget how hot somewhere will be that isn't Paynton. I stayed in the lovely little town of Portinath. Portinath? Portin... Po... 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 Hang on. Portinath. There we go. Because I spent about 80% of the holiday asleep, I didn't really film much, so uh, I'll have to piece together what I have in the edit and uh, hope for the best. Great. One of the things I saw a lot of around the resort was Thomas's, and I don't mean loads of people called Thomas all standing together on the beach, but Thomas the Tank Engine signs everywhere. Apparently, there was a Thomas train which went round the island, or at least the local area at least, and did tours, though I never saw it, so these signs were just ominously staring at you wherever you went. Oh. He's had an accident. One day, I decided it would be nice to climb to the top of a massive, massive hill to see what the view would be like at the top. Oh yeah, but did they make it? No. No, it's pr private. The whole hill. Private. Yeah. One rich bloke with a lot of money, as rich blokes tend to be if they have a lot of money, rich, decided that it'd be a good thing to make the one road that goes up the hill to his villa private, which was also the only road that went to the top of the hill. So, uh, thanks for that. Oh well, we'll try. Yeah. But there's miles to see. Yeah. See? <laughs> Fairly recently, I was in a pub, no surprise there, and I was talking to an old guy who lived on a canal boat between Lincoln and Saxelby. He said the canal was the best way to travel because you missed all the long queues of traffic on the roads and didn't have to spend two hours walking there because it's just one straight line, rather than the roads and the paths are all windy and bendy and curly, like, like, like a whisk, like a, a whisk, I'll, we'll go with a whisk. And so you're probably thinking now, where is this going? Isn't this video about Ibiza and not floating through the Lincolnshire countryside on a canal boat? Well, I've been on a few boats recently. Boat transition. On one of the days, we took a boat trip out to Ibiza's famous hippie market, and I wasn't really sure what to expect with it being a hippie market, though it was mainly just market stalls selling tie-dye shirts and rugs with trippy patterns on them. A bit like Camden. There was one stall, though, that I saw that was selling antique tobacco cases with the word London written on them, because nothing screams, hey, I've been to Ibiza like a London-branded fag box. Beer was pretty nice, though. Day 23 of exploring the Ibethan wilderness. It's very hot. Oh. And I'm lost. I was pretty surprised to find out that Ibethan actually has quite a lot of things that are just left to rot in the middle of nowhere. Walking around through the nearby wilderness or even just along the main roads, there's so many things that have just been left and completely abandoned, like Chernobyl or the end of this century. It's weird seeing something that's so popular to holiday makers and tourists just be a big, big mask hiding everything behind it that's a bit old, really. Well, the towers and the vehicles and the Thomases, it makes you think how one day everything is going to be in this same similar dilapidated, decaying state of despair. Hmm, that was pretty poetic. And speaking of poetic, here's a sunset I saw on a boat. Because boat, 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 float, float, float. That's a poem right there. I've got an A-level in creative writing, don't doubt me.
do I want 